get those hands up and praise it. Oh, oh. Hey, we're having a birthday party for somebody. <laughs> reading, or reading and listening right now, um, what every Christian should know about the Quran. I gotta remember to keep my left hand on this side because my right hand covers up the little speaker on this uh, GoPro. But um, one thing that I find fascinating is cultural difference both in our inspired scriptures and the Quran and how we have to be super careful not to have double standards. So in the one sense, Christians, rightly in my opinion, say that <clears throat> the Holy Spirit in his inspiration of Paul, <clears throat> writing about the role of women in the church, had certain, in our culture today, controversial uh, writings um, and even to the point of where man has put God in the dock so to speak and ignored his word I mean, anytime you just say well this doesn't apply anymore or we're just going to divorce ourselves from the Old Testament those laws no longer apply to us. Well, you have to be a little more intelligent in the way you explain things instead of just making blanket uh, statements. But at any rate, I, this, this video is too short to go into the details of that. But what I find fascinating is that Muhammad broke what nowadays would be considerable taboos in his day but in his day it was normative the problem comes in where that particular behavior that Muhammad engaged in is said to be normative for this age also for our current situation and we know that's not true but in the same way, most churches have said what was normative in Paul's day about women being silent is not normative now. So the contrast is between women in silence and child marriage. You know, obviously that's a huge gap. And the no child marriage in our uh, dispensation or our time period um, obviously makes sense but no women uh, teaching in the church my understanding of our scriptures is the only place that it's off limits is the pulpit um, and if that's the case I don't see the issue with transferring what was normative then to being normative now. Um, so, but I would love to be corrected on that. A couple of disconcerting things. I'm not a big fan of infant baptism. <coughs> I think there's two arguments. One of them is from silence. What I mean by that is we had infant baptism at Redeemer Church, the church I go to. What I mean by uh, argument from silence is that people try to make the argument well the jailer and his family the entire family were baptized but they make the leap to say that the jailer's family had children in it that's an argument from silence because the scriptures say nothing of the jailer 
having children there. Um, so that part of the argument. The other part, circumcision was an entrance into the family or the promise. And I guess that is parallel with baptism being an entry into the church. So, and that part, although I'm not terribly interested in how remarkable that might be, but, you know, it, it is important because, like, one of my heroes, Hudson Taylor, on the ship going over to Myanmar, changed his mind and said infant baptism is not biblical, thereby cutting off all the monetary support that he was going to have there. Don't ask me how that happened, but it happened. But the uh, adult baptizers were more than happy to jump in there and support that mission. So, and then lastly, today I was thinking passport, visa, Bangladesh, studying uh, the Quran, all those things snowballed into a, a, a desire to look closely, more closely into the visa, got online, round trip ticket to Washington DC, where you can go in person to the, the Bangladesh consulate, $20 each way. That's it. No brainer. So I'm gonna treat myself for my 63rd birthday, go to Bangladesh, and if I have an intelligent plan, go into the immigration office or the uh, embassy there and get a little more flavor of how I can extend that visa out in an easy, non-stressful way. <coughs> so we'll see how that, that works out. But if you're gonna pray for something, please keep that coming, pray for the passport. Get him up and praise him. Hallelujah.